Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. I just got home from work. Crazy, crazy. I'm supposed to be getting ready to go leave for Spocom because I got a hotel for two nights. But, dude, check this out. Dude, I got my hood out there from Kevman's. I got to put that on before I go. We got to put that on. So, let's go ahead and do that. Yeah, so this hood is coming off, guys. This hood is coming off. Um, remember how I had this hood and I had that clear hood all over the place, but I ordered another one, custom one off. Let's put this on before I, I head out. And I also still got to do some shaving off here so I can air out a little bit better. But dude, this is super crunch time. All right, so since I'm doing this solo, guys, I'm gonna unbolt, put a rag right there, put a rag right there. So unbolt, put the corner right there, put my head right here. And then same thing and then take it off. Right, so check out the head. Um, it does come with the woods bolted on so the corners don't get damaged and looks good, didn't get damaged. So I specifically may ask him to make the center of the clear smaller so that way he can make a latch right there. And I told him to try to uh, mimic the Mugen vent style. So as he did right there on the sides. So again, and this is forged carbon with gold flakes. So you see the latch. That way I don't have to use hood pins. There's a latch right in and hopefully it's good to go and doesn't wobble. Alright, so I got it all set up on the corners. We're gonna put the bolts on this side and do the other side. And then we're gonna mess with this latch. We're gonna loosen this two bolts right here, one and two. Adjust it up and down so it can latch perfectly. Alright, so I'm not gonna play around with this too much. I'm just gonna try to adjust this latch. See how high it's up. We're gonna push it down. Oh, dang, it still looks like it's hitting right here. Maybe it needs to come slightly down. So what I'll do is probably loosen these bolts on both sides and then shift it down a little bit. So I already did that side, so this is already loose. And then, I don't know if you guys can see it, but it'll wobble a little bit. So try to shift it all the way up and then tighten it. All right, so right now it's locked. Look how much gap it is. So we're gonna go ahead and loosen that uh, two nuts and then bring the latch closer in, like make it shorter. All right, bear with me guys. I'm holding the hood up, holding the camera, and I got the wrench. So we just go ahead and loosen these up. Now, bam, loosen up, All right? So we're trying to make this shorter. And then we'll lift this up, right? And then we tighten the nuts right here. So I already adjusted the top, so let's just tighten this now. Not too tight, because we might have to readjust it. Okay, let's bring it down. So just maybe a little bit more, still sticking up. Um, sticking up more on this side too. So, but that'll probably help if there was hood pins too. Let's bring down this side and then that side. So yeah, let's, let's bring this down lower. All right guys, check it out. It looks sick. Dang. So this pretty much lines up right here. This one is slightly up higher, but I'm fine with that right now. And we're gonna run it. So this one is a little less gapped. This one is a little bit more, but that's an easy fix later. Um, during the show, my husband's gonna be popped anyways. You know, or, or maybe not. You can kind of still see everything here. Mm, no, I'll still pop it probably. But yeah, guys, check it out. So you guys saw all the other videos, I've got the new wheels. But yeah, I am gonna trim this. I'm hitting the bumper right here. So I'm just gonna trim this real quick. 
And yeah, we're gonna go head up to Anaheim right now. So about one hour or two. Yeah, so I don't know what it was. Maybe God saw the struggle and stress I've been going through the whole week trying to get this car ready. But my hood literally came in about an hour before I was supposed to take off to Anaheim. So now a little bit delayed, but I'd rather have that hood on now because that's a one-on-one -on -one hood right there. So yeah, guys, I'll see you at Spocom. If you're not at Spocom, watch these videos and you're going to see how my car really looks on this final outcome. But the only thing missing is my engraved taillights. We didn't get to finish that, but we'll finish that on the next one. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. I'm out.